How did, oh my God, are you kidding the battery? What, I just hit record. <laughs> okay. Do I sit with me or not? Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. Welcome. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. You can probably hear the birds tweeting. Hopefully you won't hear the goats next door. <sighs> Can be a little alarming at times. I promised when we opened the bio nylon that I would do a, a video on it, and um, at the end I'll talk about spinning it and everything. That's what we're here for today. <laughs> How are you? There are literally dragonflies and hummingbirds coming up to the glass to say hi to me because I'm sitting in front of a window. And it's pretty cool. I told you guys last weekend, we were at my dad's to celebrate his 80th birthday. And um, you know, like everyone, I have a complicated relationship with my parents. I mean, that's just the nature of parent-child relationships, right? And it made me think a lot about who I want to be as a person and you know the fear or hope that we're all gonna turn into our parents someday and I just want to make sure that I am definitely taking opportunities to tell my friends and my family how much I appreciate them and what's great about them so I'm gonna take that opportunity right now before we spin this bio nylon I have found it difficult to respond to all the comments over the past probably about six months-ish. But I do read like probably 95% of them. I occasionally miss responses because the way that YouTube shows them to you in the like behind the scenes. And the way that you guys support each other, answer questions, encourage each other, pat each other on the back, um, what else do have I seen? Commiseration when things aren't going well or going right. Uh, I have seen like messages of sympathy, empathy to each other back and forth. And I am just so thankful for you as a community. I'm so proud that you are part of the tribe that I call my tribe. And I just think you guys are great. So I want to make sure I tell you because there is a lot in this world pointing out what's wrong with us. And maybe as friends, I need to point out what's right more. You guys are awesome and I'm so thankful that you're here. Okay, all that mushiness is out of the way now. Back in the beginning of May, we got two, I think it was three and a half ounce bags, little baggies um, of bio nylon from Paradise Fibers. So I, I did try to find some information on how it's actually manufactured and I couldn't really find anything that I knew 100% to be accurate. The difference between bio nylon and the nylon that we have bought in the past or um, has been included like with superwash and all that kind of thing for sock yarns to add strength, sometimes to add sparkle because Firestar is made of nylon, um, the difference as I understand it, the main difference, I should say, is that this is supposed to break down in the correct conditions, meaning uh, the way that trash would break down, so in like compostable conditions. It's supposed to break down at a rate that is more consistent with other types of trash because plastic takes like crazy amount of time. Do I wish I could do a science project so I could report on it? Kind of, but it'll take years. Like I said, I've done a little research on other types of things that are being called compostable and biodegradable types of plastic, and I'm seeing conflicting things, so it's I just don't really know. We got two different packets. You saw it when I opened it, I'll actually insert a clip from that so that you can really see what I'm talking about. And I got two colors called Grassroots and then, what was the other one called? I'll put it down here because I can't remember. 
Tulip. It was a flower name, I'm pretty sure. When I got them, I was trying to decide, oh, hummingbird. I was trying to decide how am I gonna spin these? What am I gonna do to, to evaluate whether I like them or how I feel about them? So I grabbed the grassroots first because I just really like the colors and it reminds me of Swamp Baby, which was a blend we got maybe as much as two years ago. I don't know, we had a Star Wars box and we got one, two colors called Droid and Swamp Baby, I think. And Swamp Baby totally reminded me of Grassroots. I grabbed it and I decided because I want those colors to blend with each other that I would spin it directly from the end of the top without changing anything. Because I really wanted to see what does this spin like immediately exactly the way it is out of the package like how is this gonna be I chain plied it afterwards and um, so I'll show you the finished art and the whole process and we'll talk about it a little bit at the end Some of you have probably seen this finished yarn in a project update because it was finished the last time I did a project update. And I do absolutely love these colors. I really like how it feels. It's surprising how it feels. Um, oh boy, there's also some rose fiber in here. I forgot to mention that back in the beginning so spinning it it is not hard to spin it does not really have any crimp of course and it kind of is like oh, what's the right word it's kind of grippy against itself as you're drafting so I think if you're like a little bit of a newer spinner it might be something that you'd want to pre-draft a little bit I don't know but I, I would probably try it if you're having difficulty just pre-draft a bit. The rose adds some shine, but I do believe that some of the shine that I'm seeing is from the nylon as well. And it's not, it's more like a luster, not a shine. It's not a sparkle. Um, I don't, it's kind of like, you know, the difference between diamonds and pearls. Pearls is like luster and diamonds have sparkle. So, I absolutely love it. I think it is beautiful. It's so pretty. So it was three and a half ounces. I got like 280 yards from this and it is probably a sport weight. Yeah, it's, to me, I haven't tried knitting it up, but to me it looks like a sport weight. So the only place I'm stuck is, what am I gonna use this for? 
it's interesting because it's it's very drapey. You can see it in this in the hank. It's very very drapey, and I don't. I can't see myself knitting a nylon shawl. I think that I'm having like a, a mental roadblock with what do I do with a pure nylon yarn. In the bag, we got a pattern for, I think they were crocheted sandals. They were sandals anyway. And I also just can't see myself wearing yarn sandals, even though they were cool. I don't know, you guys know me, I'm just very weird. I think it's just not my taste, which is not to say it's bad or good, it's just not Trish. I have complicated feelings. Just like the parent-child relationship, apparently my relationship with this nylon is complicated. <laughs> I actually love this outcome. The grippy feeling during spinning was a little odd but i didn't dislike it it just was like unusual and odd and it felt weird at first but now i'm just struggling with that last little step of like okay so what would i actually use this for i've seen some of you say you want to knit socks with it i'm worried it won't breathe i don't know so i'm gonna put it in my stash i have found in the past that if i put hand spun that i'm not sure what to do with in my stash it does come back and tell me what it wants to be eventually and even as I'm speaking right now, I'm suddenly feeling like maybe weaving is the thing. Maybe weaving is the thing. Oh, so you're probably wondering what I did with the other packet. Okay. I am going to have another video of that. I have already started spinning it, but first I blended it with a bunch of different wools into a similar to a Frankenbat, but it's mostly the nylon. And then there's also some silk in it, just a tiny bit of silk, sorry silk. And so I think that will probably be up, I don't know, probably around the time I finish spinning it. I'm like an eighth of the way through. And I will say this, I really wish I knew a lot more about how this will truly break down in the right conditions, how it's manufactured, what kind of uh, like waste products it might produce during the manufacturing process, all those kinds of things. I wish I knew a lot more. I guess that's how I feel. I always tell you guys the truth. I'm kind of nervous now because I don't know if you guys will remember, but last summer I posted a video about buying some Jacob fleeces that were from a first time seller. She disclosed that to me. I paid a low price because I was expecting to get like a lot of shortcuts and all that stuff. I skirted it on my channel, I watched it on my channel and it ended up being that I only got to keep about half of it which I was totally fine with because I knew up front, like she was totally honest about the situation and I was totally fine with that uh, I did not realize, well, nobody else said it, but one person came on and like was freaking out and saying that I had been really negative and that was why she didn't want to sell her fleece and um, I kind of don't, don't know what to say because I really thought I was just being truthful. I actually thought that because everybody was totally upfront about what they were willing to risk, what they actually had in their hands, what they knew, what they didn't know, I actually thought it was a really positive experience. So I was surprised to see that it was taken the way that it was. I just feel like I have to say both sides of things. That's kind of what I'm doing here. I can't stop being truthful just because somebody sees it as negativity. I honestly do try to focus on the, the better aspects of things, but I always wanna let you guys know what I see as the drawbacks as well, and those are just drawbacks for me. It's all opinions. I don't know why I'm rambling about this, but I think like, in a way it made me feel like I needed to defend myself because I do, <laughs> I've gotta be truthful here. Otherwise you guys can't trust me and what, I, I can't have that, I don't, I don't want that. So I hope you guys will understand. I have to say this was a very positive experience. I do wish I just knew more. I enjoyed spinning it. 
I really love this yarn. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it will tell me what it wants to be. I hope this was helpful, sort of. I'm sure there are probably some of you who have more information about the process than I do. Uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Feel free to tell me what you thought of it if you've already spun it. Feel free to tell me what you did do with it if you just spun it like I did straight off the end of the top or if you blended it or what you did with it. I would love to hear what you did with it. So I will see you guys next Tuesday, I hope, with the video of dyeing the Breed Study Hanks. I really, really appreciate you guys, and I am thankful that you're here. Thanks, I love you, bye.